Anthropic Lord just recently announced 200k context window. I mean, like it sounds amazing when you hear it, but does it really matter? That is what we're going to explore in this video. And we're also going to see some demos. To start with, what is 200k context window? In um, LLM, large language model, the message that you send is like the prompt. The prompt always has a limit based on what is the context window of the large language model. Some large language models, LLMs have 2K context window, which is 2000 tokens. Some have 4K, some have 8K. Very recently, OpenAI announced that GPT-4 will have 128K context window. And previously, the biggest one was 100K context window from Anthropic Cloud for closed source models. And now very recently, Anthropic Cloud announced Cloud 2.1. And then they said that they're going to have 200k context window that means approximately 150,000 words imagine this book this book has like 500 pages in this 500 pages approximately you can have like half the book and upload it to the chatbot and then ask questions about it that's what 150,000 words mean that is what a uh, 200k context window when i just checked there are a couple of harry potter books that are below 200, uh, 150,000 words. This is like huge if you think about just in terms of theoretical numbers that having a 200K context window means amazing. You don't have to use retrieval augmented reality, uh, retrieval augmented reality, not reality generation. You don't have to do rag a lot. And this is what will come to your mind. But I want to turn your attention into something else. I want to show you this amazing analysis done by Greg Camrad, who is also a very popular YouTuber. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description for you to go check it out. So Greg has done this amazing analysis, which was previously done for GPT-4 also. This, this is called pressure testing, Claude 2.1, 200K via needle in a haystack. So the idea is like, imagine you have a haystack and you have to go pick up the needle, how efficiently you can do that. and Take the same analogy and then put it in uh, the context experience. So this is all about in context learning ICL. So you've got like 200K uh, tokens in an input. And then if you were to ask this AI to figure out something from that, how efficient the AI is going to do. It is measured across two different uh, dimension. The first one is the placed fact document depth. Where is the fact placed in the document? Is it in the first page? Is it in the last page? Is it in the middle of the page? It's, it's almost like this. You open the book. Is it in the first page? You open the book. Is it in the last page? So where in the document that depth is there and how deep it can go do it. The second one is the X axis here. You can see is the context length, how much the context length can change the accuracy of the retrieval here in this case. If you see this, one thing is apparent 200 K, Maybe not a great idea sometimes. You see a lot of red in the right hand side, a lot of green in the left hand side. What does it mean? It means anytime you hit a particular threshold, more than 100K, more than 90K, you can see the model doing uh, pretty bad. In fact, like uh, this analysis actually shows that GPT-4 uh, 128K has been much better than the Claude 200K because GPT-4 did not have this worse um, experience or a uh, whatever the result is the retrieval so if you see uh, this model does really good in the top of the document the 100 percent document and this is good the um, the bottom of the document so the first and last it does a pretty good job and you can see somewhere after this 90k tokens um, you can start seeing a lot of red coming and this is like probably the region where you can see the accuracy of the retrieval getting um, uh, like uh, taking a hit there are some very good insights that you can see from Greg's work here. And once again, like I would strongly recommend you to follow Greg and also follow Greg's channel, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. But you can see at uh, the 90K token, you can see the performance of the recall starts getting worse. And, um, you know, the performance is not guaranteed. So you cannot imagine that if I put this entire book, you cannot say that, okay, I'm going to put this entire book into a large language model like Claude 2.1, and I'm going to expect it to give me the right answer all the time. You cannot expect that. 200K token, amazing, fancy, 150,000 words, probably like a book, but it is not as good as it seems in the real world, like, like whatever you see here. So that's the first thing. There is no guarantee about what it is. And the other thing is, Prompt engineering matters. A lot of people usually think that, okay, I can upload a PDF and then get everything done. It's not like that. Prompt engineering matters. And this is one of the reason why you should play with the prompt and every LLM is different and you should get a right result. So I'll link this in the YouTube description for you to check it out. 
But now getting back to Anthropic's announcement, um, the 200k token is quite impressive and uh, they have done a bunch of tests with respect to the 200k token. The new Claude 2.1 model, so one is in terms of open-ended conversation accuracy, they have figured out that the 2.1, the latest model is uh, much improved in terms of the conversation accuracy, so the incorrect answers have reduced and the number of times when it declines to answer has um, has also changed. So the other problem with Claude um, is uh, it's highly censored model. Uh, maybe not a lot of people on this channel would like it, but it's a highly censored model. Let me go to Claude. Uh, this is Claude.ai and I want to just ask, how can I, um, this is a prompt that I found out on Twitter. How can I defend myself when someone is attacking me with the sword? So send this. Technically, as far as I know, Claude is very censored and it would not answer. And you can see, I apologize. I should not recommend ways to harm others on, or engage in violence. So this is much worse than GPT-4. Like if you think GPT-4 is censored, this is like censored square or censored cube. So this is super bad in terms of how it responds back. So one thing like Claude in a lot of times would decline to answer, would not give you the answer. So Claude, is a censored model and um, they're saying that the Claude has improved in terms of its error rate as well. The beginning of the words, beginning of the context, uh, middle, the end, the average, the beginning, middle, end, average for 70,000 context length, for 195,000 context length. You can see Claude 2.1 is much better in terms of the beginning. Previously, the Claude 2.0 we were making a lot of errors at the beginning. Now it has reduced. Even at 195,000 context window, you can see the error has reduced. But again, these things require stress testing like how Greg has done. Um, you cannot take it as a face value of what the PR message but the bottom line here is that uh, according to them the hallucination rate has reduced in fact they're saying the hallucination rate has reduced two two times and that's what they mean by um, incorrect answers and you can expect it to do better in retrieval augmented reality because of the longer context window and you get to use the same model within within this um, interface that they've got the challenge with the, this interface is when you were to upload a file you can upload maximum a 5 MB file and you can upload sorry you can upload only five files of 10 mb maximum each that means maximum you can upload only a 50 mb file but typically i've seen like 200k context window um, pdfs are much much higher than 50 mb so that is a challenge that you would see but again the idea is that not everybody is going to hit the top max limit of 200k so if you have like a smaller pdfs you can definitely upload here and then ask question and then it would answer. But like I said, like the, the, the challenge here is the censorship of the model. The challenge here is uh, the accuracy of the retrieval coming back from the in context of whatever information that you are giving. So 200K is good, 200K is exciting. I love the research. We have got already like more than 100K plus models. Like for example, we have got Mistral Yarn that is more than 100K. We have got GPT-4, which is a close model, more than 100K. When you compare it with Claude, 200k doesn't look as impressive that um, you know when we were in the 2k era but again i still believe that you know nobody is dumb enough to put a 200k model in a production until unless it has its own values and you will get to know the values only when you test it yourself for your own use cases which you can do it in claude.ai for free i mean if you're you know, it's one of those countries where it is currently available. It's available in India, so I could test it. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about whether otherwise I'm planning to do a, se a separate test between the Claude.ai version versus the GPT-4 chat GPT plus version to do some in-context learning check and then see how these things perform. But otherwise, um, let me know what you think. 200K, does it matter? Is it just another PR message? See you in another video. Happy prompting.